When it debuted in the 2020 model year, the new Tesla Model Y fundamentally altered the electric drive SUV market. For 2022, it remains largely unchanged and continues to share the majority of its parts and layout with the Model 3. Of course, it has more interior space than the sedan and is longer, wider, and taller. It also has a rear hatch that allows access to a cargo area. There are two variations, long range and performance, both of which come standard with all-wheel drive. This video is going to be about Tesla Model Y22 while answering the following questions. In which year Tesla entered the SUV market? What's the efficiency of the Tesla Model Y? How's the interior of Tesla Model Y22? In 2021, Tesla entered the competitive electric SUV market. When we're behind the wheel, we realize right away why this Model Y is performing well and frequently better than others. Here's our test of a Tesla Model Y Grande autonomy, in autonomy, driving behavior, and life on board. There are an increasing number of electric SUV references. All producers who have begun electrifying their range now consider them a necessity. Both newcomers and established brands are buying for this lucrative market. In light of this heightened competition, the Tesla Model Y is the standard to surpass. This Tesla Model Y has a lot of positive attributes and a few negative ones, which should make rivals get the chills. We didn't necessarily aim to replicate the 1600 kilometers traveled by a Tesla Model 3 for this test. Instead, the plan was to alternate more dynamic phases with others focused on eco-driving while testing the vehicle on mixed cycles of weekend hikes and daily commutes. Tesla's efficiency gap keeps growing. Despite being 4.75 meters long, the Tesla SUV's long autonomy version can still be effective. Although highway travel continues to use the most fuel, there is no longer any need to worry regarding autonomy on the second loop. We return the car to Tesla with an estimate of 16.1 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, despite the 20 inch rims increasing consumption. When compared to several electric SUVs, which use an average of more than 18 or 20 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers on comparable routes, this is a good result space and trunk. With an overall length of 2.89 meters and a length of 4.75 meters, the car has plenty of room inside, including for the backseat passengers. The Model 3 may have some limitations, whereas the Model Y has to be able to accommodate all passenger sizes. In any case, the contract is fulfilled for everyone's comfort. The Tesla Model Y's spacious trunk is in a response to complaints from families about the Tesla Model 3's trunk. The Model Y Grande Autonomy does have a spacious rear trunk with an 854-liter capacity and a 117-liter front trunk. You can create up to 2,158 liters of storage by folding the back seats. If that wasn't enough, the Tesla Model Y could still tow up to 1,600 kilograms. After delivery, the tow hook is installed. This option costs 1,350 euros. The settings for the steering and suspension the Model Y is extremely agile and, more importantly, accurate when picking up speed on narrow roads despite having a higher center of gravity. If you have an itchy foot or not, the Model Y, like all Teslas, make you smile because it seems to drive in a very zen manner. For an SUV weighing just under 2 tons, the suspension and steering settings offer a good road feel. Driving can be enjoyable and you can do it all safely. However, there is another side to that coin, and it can be seen on a lot of SUVs available today. The manufacturer has to give up some comfort in order to provide this dynamism. This is particularly apparent on uneven roads, cobblestones, and speed bumps. Then, a more fragile comfort comes over us. The Model Y is still generally comfortable, it's just less so to enhance its dynamic behavior. To satisfy all users, a compromise between comfort and handling had to be made. If not, the cost would have to go up in order to include an option, like the air suspensions offered on the Model S and X. Positioning Prices The Model Y Grande Autonomy doesn't appear to be particularly affordable at first glance, with a price of €62,990. Finally, a closer look reveals that the Model 3 Grand Autonomy starts at 58,990 euros. Finally, a closer look reveals that the Model 3 Grand Day Autonomy starts at 58,990 euros, fully accounting for the Model Y's price premium. 
even if the European competition is able to offer a number of family SUV models at more appealing prices, it is not always possible to compare them based on features and performance. Tesla continues to hold a sizable performance advantage. The brand also uses onboard technology that is standard, whereas many other models require extension options. With a Model Y propulsion, the American company would undoubtedly defeat its main rivals. They should take advantage of their advantageous location because we need electric cars that suit all tastes and budgets. Technology and the interior. A number of innovations were introduced by the Model 3 and Model Y pair, which we no longer offer. The exterior designs of these models are the first thing that stands out and is distinguishable. Although not everyone appreciates its simplicity, it has the benefit of adapting to aerodynamic problems to reduce consumption. With its single central computer monitor and lack of extraneous buttons, the interior is what has drawn the most attention. It has become second nature to use this uncluttered interface. Even though no other producer has dared to eliminate the speedometer like Tesla did, the brand is progressively being imitated. With the most recent advancements in multimedia technology, the system as a whole no longer continues to suffer from slowness. Instead, it is fluid and rather unnervingly fast. Without losing too much time or focus on the road, it is simple to switch between displays. We can also use voice commands to help prevent any needless screen manipulation while driving. For those unfamiliar with the brand, interior changes are frequently not immediately apparent. However, advancements can be seen from one model to the next, particularly from one creation to the next. These are minor details, like the rug in the panels or the location of the induction charging port. But when added together, they all work to raise the model's perceived quality. The Model Y tested recently represents an improvement in this regard. We might only lament the poor rear visibility, which would be severely constrained by the design of the tailgate. Thank you for watching this video. Provide us your valuable feedback in the comment section. Stay tuned till the next video.